In October of 1997, Sister Bednar and I hosted Elder and Sister Maxwell at Brigham Young University, Idaho. Elder Maxwell was to speak, at the, speak to the students, staff, and faculty in a devotional assembly. Everyone on the campus eagerly anticipated his visit to the university and earnestly prepared to receive his message. Earlier in that same year, Elder Maxwell underwent 46 days and nights of debilitating chemotherapy for leukemia. Shortly after completing his treatments and being released from the hospital, he spoke briefly in the April General Conference of the Church. His continued rehabilitation and therapy progressed positively throughout the spring and the summer months. But Elder Maxwell's physical strength and stamina were nonetheless limited when he traveled to Rexburg. After greeting Elder and Sister Maxwell at the airport, Susan and I drove them to our home for rest and a light lunch before the devotional. During the course of our conversations that day, I asked Elder Maxwell what lessons he had learned through his illness. I will remember always the precise and penetrating answer he gave. Dave, he said, I have learned that not shrinking is more important than surviving. His response to my inquiry was a principle with which he had gained extensive personal experience during his chemotherapy. As Elder Maxwell and his wife were driving to the hospital in January of 1997, on the day he was scheduled to begin the first round of treatment, they pulled into the parking lot, parking lot and paused for a private moment together. Elder Maxwell breathed a deep sigh and looked at his wife. He reached for her hand and said, I just don't want to shrink. In his October 1997 General Conference message entitled, Applying the Atoning Blood of Christ, Elder Maxwell taught with great authenticity. Next, as we confront our own lesser trials and tribulations, we too can plead with the Father, just as Jesus did, that we might not shrink, meaning to retreat or to recoil. Not shrinking is much more important than surviving. Moreover, partaking of a bitter cup without becoming bitter is likewise part of the emulation of Jesus. Elder Maxwell's answer to my question caused me to reflect on the teachings of Elder Orson F. Whitney, who also served as a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Quote, no pain that we suffer, no trial that we experience is wasted. It ministers to our education, to the development of such qualities as patience, faith, fortitude, and humility. All that we suffer and all that we endure, especially when we endure patiently, builds up our characters, purifies our hearts, expands our souls, and makes us more tender and charitable more worthy to be called the children of God. And it is through sorrow and suffering, toil and tribulation, that we gain the education that we came here to acquire. 